make way for the new purple police cruiser. The vehicle displayed for the first time at a press conference outside the Socrates Police Department on Tuesday will be the newest tool in the effort to broaden awareness of domestic violence, not only in Socrates but throughout the county. Those on hand, like Gwen Wright, the executive director of the New York State Office of the Prevention of Domestic Violence, praise the initiative as a provocatively powerful one. People will notice, people will ask questions, and I think it will be, it will send a message out to the community that this is something that the police department takes very seriously. And I think the support of the county to move in this direction is just amazing. It does, to me, make Ulster County and the village of Sorgates in particular stand out among amongst the, the best uh, in terms of their commitment to this issue. Saugerties Police Chief Joseph Sinagra said incidents like the 2007 case in which Tracy Pissarro was fatally shot by her husband Anthony in front of their children serves as a reminder of the brutality of the crime and the need to tackle it head on. In uh, 2014, our police agency handled a, t a total of 266, I'm sorry, 280 calls uh, for domestic violence incidents. Um, as of yesterday's date, September 28th, uh, 2015, we had already responded to 680 cases of domestic violence. So at that pace, that that kind of puts us in an area where we may be over uh, 300 calls for domestic violence. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that domestic violence is on the increase here in Sorgates. It just simply means that through awareness, people are becoming better educated and are contacting the police. And I think that it is a very bold step for the Sorgates Police Department to take a cruiser, to paint it purple and white, to have messages about prevention, to be able to circle around the village throughout the year. In Socrates, I'm Paula Mitchell for HVNN.com.